don't seem to be stopping spawning anytime soon. Silverfish. And they're still spawning. should have done a silverfish check first. That's right, I just managed to kill pretty much all of those right around my torch without breaking the torch. Speaking of torches, whoa! Sure cut a hole in the wall there. Killing a thousand silverfish is really hard on the hunger bar. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Hey, Silverfish. Come here. I best we'll kill all of you in the same room as before. Look how many fucking enchanting levels I have. This is just unnecessary. Hey, you guys. Come on. Come on. Fine. Okay, that one just... Okay, so do those ones. Come here. down to one iron sword. I do have a little bit more iron, though. Uh, those guys are busy going into the walls. Hmm. How am I going to get down there? Silverfish, not a silverfish. Silverfish, not a silverfish. <sighs> okay. Hmm. I don't want to just jump because that could have very nasty results. Not how I originally wanted to get down here, but oh, bring it! Got 
God damn it, spider. Ah, skeleton. Why waste uh, stuff on gas if I don't have to, right? Alright. Let's fire out, place torches instead. You know what? Just shoot at me. Or don't. Shoot at me. Oh. Another one that I can't see. I think I might have actually just hit that ghast in the face, even though I couldn't see him. Motion prediction. It's elementary, my dear boy. What's going on with this water? Kind of disturbing, actually. It does remind me I should have made a bucket. It would have made getting down here a lot easier, but. Ooh. Okay. Light the zombie. So that way you can see him right before he dies. Obviously, close to bedrock level right now. That's one thing I know for a fact. Based on the fact that I can't see a goddamn thing. But, as long as I explore the rooms to the point where I light them up the whole way, I shouldn't really miss anything. And that's a silverfish spawner, because I didn't fight enough of them already. Okay. Oh, fleecy box. Just what I was hoping for. Now, I don't know if all of the wolves are in dungeons. If that's what you want to call this. Okay, baby spiders. Now, I'm not going to take a wool just yet. I want to look around and see if there's any cool diamond stuff. I am in the deepest, darkest layer of this fucking dungeon. Zombie spawner. Mushrooms. What's in here? Raw steak. Might as well take it. Compass. It's daytime right now. In case you guys didn't know. Oh, there's the blazes. Oh! Oh, Jesus. How did I not just get hit by that fireball? Okay. Uh... That's unfortunate. I was hoping there was actually something in here. Mmm, white wool. Not quite sure I got that wooden sword. Don't need that, so I'll get rid of that too. Place this over here. I still really do need to find the victory monument, that's for sure. But... I don't know. I'm hoping that there's only one wool in here. I know it's supposed to be a gigantic fucking map, so... I'm going to assume that only... That there's a ton of different dungeons, but they each only have one wool in them. I do need to get an enchanting table. Something fierce. And we're gonna go up, 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 up. Give me my torch. Oh, hi there, zombie. I apparently did a very bad job of lighting up this room. Actually, no, that was the silverfish room. That explains everything. But, screw the mobs. Nobody cares. Now, which one of these rooms did I jump down in? Oh, this one I actually just straight up dug to the wall. It's a miracle I didn't hit any silverfish. 
I am going to take time to. Whoa. Be there. I'm going to need to take time to make. Uh, cook up the steak and whatnot, because the cooked steak I have is getting low. And I do st still have some more iron that needs cooked. But. I suppose I can finish cooking that stuff towards the uh, end of me burrowing into a wall or something. Come on up, spider. Okay, fine. Don't come up. See if I care. Oh. Poor lighting job is poor. So, iron. That's obviously what I was going for. Now, I almost feel like I should dig into each one of these little holes. As you can tell, I'm being a little bit paranoid about silverfish. I have a feeling these things are designed to be like a branch mine. However, that's about all the farther I'm going to dig into this. Oh. That took surprisingly long to break for being a silverfish block. Silverfish, silverfish. Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing he considered making this some kind of above ground thing or something. These would go into like separate rooms or something, but he kind of buried it. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be a cool little thing where it got buried and that all got destroyed. Who knows? The only thing I know is I have an iron block and three wolves on me, and I still have no idea where the Victory Monument even is. But it is daytime. How much daytime? It's probably... Yeah. I can close the dark. Um, uh, bed? Okay. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. There's a lot of bones. Yeah, I might as well keep them all on me if I'm going to keep some, right? Keep going the way I was going, see if I see anything else along the shore. Like this desert well down here. I see the moon. That torch graphic's a little bugged right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the, uh, the flame, I don't know, it depends on what you want to call it. This is definitely a desert well. Whether or not this naturally occurred, or maybe Vex stole it, I don't know. But this is a standard everyday uh, desert well. I could make a bucket and pick up some water, but eh, I haven't used any so far. Taking a look at my armor, seeing what kind of condition it's in. All of it's above half still. Uh, the helmet and the boots are what worry me the most, because they're the lowest, just some kind of random oasis with a lighting glitch that fixed itself. Okay, I must not be making very good progress following the shore here, because I still see the pyramid. Hmm. See, I see so much water, and this whole thing just seems like it's surrounded in it, so it makes me wonder if that is actually the border. But normally Vex has super ridiculous, obvious borders, and I currently don't feel like making a boat to go out there, because it's the same general concept that I have with, like, Gift Warped and whatnot. I don't like to explore to the edge of the map unless I'm running out of options for collecting wools. 
who knows? He might have an entire under underground, underwater city out there. And I can tell you, he probably didn't build it by hand. But if there is one out there, I'll find it one day. But it will not be today. Or probably even tomorrow or the next day. And I don't mean this is in, like, actual in-game days and or, you know, recording, you know, episode-worth days. I mean more of, like, actual far down the road from looking for stuff days. Multiple recording sessions days. Department of Redundancy Department. Explaining things in absolute repetitive detail until the point is made entirely clear as so that way nobody can be confused. However, the way in which I word things makes them confused anyhow. Captain in Captain Confusion? That was Captain Obvious. I'm Captain Confusion. Explaining things in such detail to confuse people. See? Department of Redundancy Department. I should set up a house somewhere on this map and do that. Just put a sign on it that says Department of Redundancy Department. Because I think I'm back at spawn. I'm definitely walking towards it, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm almost here. It's supposed to be continental, a very explorative, let's playish type. I'm apparently just running. I wonder if these chickens can die. Ooh, dead chicken. Might as well collect some more random steak. I've already got a billion of it on me, why not collect some more, right? Uh, screw it, why not kill the pigs too? Whatever. I'm not exactly in dire need of food, but they're here, and I haven't killed anything for a good, like, five minutes, so. The pigs and the cows have never been slaughtered. This area is very large and expansive. Large and expansive. And cave? What? Vex, your lava's broken. Make sure things in water. I don't even know if there's water nearby to here. Well, there's that water, but fuck that water. It's not what I was talking about. I almost feel as though I should be digging under some of this clay, but then... Eh. Pillar? Oh, yeah. I'm definitely back at spawn now. That chicken wasn't cheaty. <laughs> Getting hungry. And so, doing so much running and not actually watching my food bar. What about you? You a cheaty cow? Nope. Hmm. I think all the mobs stopped being cheaty. Well, you managed to go around one complete side of the map. Go around the other side of the map now. Ooh. See, the other sand and whatnot tapered out just, you know, like, perfectly cool looking. This one's kind of like half submerged, but like, comes to an abrupt halt or something part way out. I don't know, maybe it's just a loading fail. I have no idea, but... But so much sprinting. So does anybody else feel as though that sprinting should just be a hotkey? Like you can hit shift or something and just start sprinting. Because that'd be really handy. And I tried setting up like a macro with my keyboard software. And it didn't work out so well. I should try it with my mouse software. But I don't know. 
It almost seems like if you try to s double tap too quickly, you'll actually fail to sprint. Which is kind of annoying. See, my gravel is kind of a greenish color. It doesn't look awesome with this. Like, it matches into the grass just well enough to look perfect. I don't know. I suppose it's another one of those, well, you made it, of course you're going to like it situations. I had to. It was there. So these are supposed to be, I'm guessing, rolling hills. Like, I know he said about biomes and whatnot, but these are homemade biomes, if you will. Like, they're actual biomes and not Minecraft biome fail. Oh, here comes swamp. Swampity, swampity, swamp. There's got to be something in the swamp. There's got to be something just about everywhere. That's not... The... Oh, bit of a burp there. That's not the point, though. The point is... That is one ridiculous tower. I do not want to fall off of that. Falling off would be very painful. I do, however suicidingly want to go inside and fight my way to the top. Just to probably end up getting killed by falling off or something. Oh, I was hoping there's like actual floors and stuff inside. But no. Why you gotta be this way, Vex? You wanna kill me with falling, that's your goal, isn't it? If there's one thing that probably will end up killing me in this map, it'll end up being falling. Then again... Ooh. This is... terrifying. Oh, shit. I really don't want to walk the whole way up this. Not because I'm worried about falling, but because it is a long way up. And I didn't bring a bucket of water. And yes... I know I'm already complaining about it being tall, and what am I doing? I'm shifting the whole way through. Because I am way the fuck up, I don't have a bucket of water, and I would have hit something like that. Vex is trying to put holes in the floor to kill me. Of course he'd do it, you know, this far up. No, there's a very good chance I would just fall to the next flight of stairs and possibly live, but I'm not going to take any chances this time. I've lived this long. I don't want falling to be my death. I really wish I would have brought a bucket of water with me, though. That way I could have just cut a hole in the ceiling, poured it down, and rode it down. I could have done, like, a... I could probably do a boat drop, but... That's dangerous. More dangerous than I'm willing to attempt. We're near in the top, boys, and I hear a skeleton. Okay. Oh, shit. I hear more than one skeleton. Yes, I'm being super paranoid because I hear skeletons. 
problem. Okay, um, Blazes 2. This place is gonna kill me, not because of the mobs, but because of falling. If you're wondering what I'm doing, you probably see now. Last thing I want is skeletons spawning on my stairs. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear them burning. And that... Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Creeper on my ledge. Whoops. Okay. The extremely dangerous flight of stairs. Extremely narrow hallways. Oh. oh, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, I was standing in fire. Ow, I'm dead. Well, that's the end, guys. Death by blazes. Should have brought a bucket of water with me, but... Oh, well. It was fun, though. I only managed to get four uh, resources. Four resources? Four wools, including the iron block. But... I don't know. I knew this tower was going to end up killing me before I went up it, so... I said that. Um... I haven't really gotten any comments or anything on what people want me to play next after I, you know, complete... I, I think I might try and get keep two things going at once, but the moment, I think I'm just going to keep uh, Gift Warp going till it's complete, and then hopefully I can get some kind of a... Uh, you know, people can give me some ideas on what else they want me to play. But that's it for this, and I will see you guys in the whatever I play next. I will see you later.